Um, I think uh, you are contradicting yourself on uh, Kusubabu. Hapo awali ulisema kwamba um, kampuni ulianzisha 19, uh, 2009. Sa hizi umerudi tena nyuma ukasema ya kwamba uh, in 1990. Hizi ni miaka tofauti kabisa. Uh, inafaa ubainishe wazi uh, kwa sababu uh, ni vizuri hii ni nyumba ya records this is a house of records na kabisa ukibainisha wazi eh, vile che alisema sisi si DC ayo sisi ni watu ambao tutafuta haki ya watu na hivyo basi ukitupeleka ile kona na utupeleke kona hii ingine haifai kabisa uh, inafaa tu tuseme ukweli ya maneno ipo na Chea, nilikuwa na swali mbili mimi nilikuwa nataka kuuliza kama umenipatia mic chair chair eh uh, nataka kuuliza are you the only director in these companies or there are other directors and if it is so so tupatie uh, cheti ya kuonyesha unajua kampuni iki ikiregistrio uh, watu wanyesho there is a documentation of such pili he company yako iko registered Kenya ama iko registered uh, nje na ni kina nani director asante kuna sitoro nimepeana kwenye file si anatoro kiko kwenye file cha na si ujibora uko na mko na wengine katika hiyo CR2 ah uh, kwa wakati huu hapana okay haya tu nani wino and then to end yourself eh ah yeah. then we can come to malanya uh, to can come to aladwa then malanya uh, asante sana chair uh, madam an kuna uwezekano uweze kutuonesha dibitisho ya kwamba ulilipia hii mafuta uh, uh, labda kutoka hapa ama kutoka kama ulilipia kutoka Dubai kampuni yako Dubai ama ulilipia kutoka Kenya ni benki gani ilikupatia letter of credit ama ni benki gani iliweza kutransfer e, bilioni 17 e, tu yule mnunuzi na ukitupatia details za benki ujue ya kwamba uh, tunataka kwenda huko sisi wenyewe kudhibitisha ya kwamba hiyo pesa ilitoka kwao ama hiyo letter of credit iliweza kutoka huko asante hiyo inaweza lakini it's not for public kwa sababu ya vile kazi ya mafuta inafanyika Unajua hapa ni kama kotini kwa sasa na ndio vizuri ukienda kotini ni vizuri unaenda na thibitisho so hawezi uende hawezi ukaenda huko useme ya kwamba siwezi nikapeana hiyo kwa public ukipeana hapa parliament that is not public hii ni sasa koti Niko na thibitisho lakini haiwezi kusukua security kwa watu. It's private and confidential. Na inaweza peanwa kwa chairman wetu. Anaweza kuiona yeye mwenyewe. Let me order. Um wajua ni this is a matter of national interest. Na kwa hivyo hizo the document zote zina umuhimu hata wale wengine ambao wanasema mafuta ni yao wameleta mpaka hata kuonyesha ile pesa vile the letter of credit exact detail na vile unaweza confirm kwa bank ya yeah, uh, millennium yes anaweza inaweza patikana lakini kwa wakati huu amejitoa 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 kitambo but I think chair, we yes. are being taken around by Jan Jerry. No. Well, uh, well, uh, okay. Let uh, let uh, let her uh, just answer the question. Uh, she says the director is not there, but you know, you remember this is a company registered in Kenya, so we don't want to worry because we will summon the registrar to give us uh, the correct position. So let us not uh, deliver on it. Only that maybe ungetaka hiyo swali ya mawadhi yelezo vizuri kama kuna wengine ambao hawajaonekana kwa sababu katika shareholding ile document ambayo inatoka kwa 
kwa registrar haiwezekani wakakupatia hii document kama iko na shares azijulikani mwenyewe inakuanga tu specific kama ni 100 shares ziko shared you know ile memorandum of and articles of association huwa zimeaportioniwa vizuri na wazi register kampuni kama umelist shares na zina mwenyewe lazima zi balance kama ni 100 eh, lazima tujue is 100 who are, who are the owners so eh, kama uko na further information labda unataka ku consult kunanga shida unasema hiyo sina saa hizi nitaweza kujaribu kutafuta baadaye kwa sababu hapa this document is not adding up pale returns zote well. that if you are finding returns or you are updating the directors if you are saying that the, the director left the company or you are now concealing fraud here by misleading the registry of company that this particular entity called millennium Green Homes is still a director because this is the latest CR12 that reflects the shareholding of the company. Um, I Chair. think it's a straightforward question. Uh, on the matter of uh, this document, uh, we will find the registrar more reliable to provide us with uh, the correct position. On the matter of uh, returns, you can just tell us whether you've been uh, filing any returns here in Kenya. I think uh, she can answer. We, we, um, I think it is only fair. I know the technical matters, I request you to respond. But this one, since uh, we don't want you to carry trouble for any person, you should just say whether or not uh, the returns have been filed. Uh, is it a yes or no? Yes, it's filed. OK. Now. It is a yes for you. You know the 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 witness is uh, on oath. We can only take mm. what she says, and then maybe then establish. Mm. Yeah. But uh, while you are there, as I establish, you are yes. I want to put it to you. Kwamba ile ile tax compliance certificate ambayo mume patiana is fake. It's not fake. I have it, it is fake. I have it here, it is fake. And uh, you know, Anne. I just wish to remind you that you are under oath. It's very important. Eh? And I saw somebody say here that we are acting like. No, we are not acting like. We are a court once we move to this stage. Uh, is this your certificate of compliance? The one you just gave to the chairman, you handed it to the chair to, the, to your lawyer, and you gave it to the chairman. This is your certificate of compliance. Is that correct? Uh, it requires me to through each citizen, so it is not my mistake of kuadika uh, your mistake ikuapo. Okay, I'm not asking about the spelling. Yeah. The answer is question: Is this your certificate of, of compliance? Yes. Thank you. On, uh, on your bill of lending, you, you, you imported this. Where did you import the, the fuel from? Which country? Which port? Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. And Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. Yeah. So, Azerbaijan and Kazakhstan. On your bill of lending, it is showing that uh, the oil was imported from or exported from the port of Jeddah port. That is, I'm just reading your bill of lending. And it is dated September 29th, 2023. On your... So you imported, on your, on your letter of guarantee is dated by the LLC Alpha AAA. Your letter of guarantee is dated 27th November 2023. 
after you already exported the oil, then you got the letter of guarantee. So you got the money, you got the product without the letter of guarantee. Also, the same same organization gave you the letter of uh, attestation of oil shipment on, that is the, for the record, Alpha AAA on the 18th of October 2023. How did you, how did you access the funds to allow the shipment to be shipped out before you got the letter of guarantee that's normally required by the bank uh, before you are given the funds. The funds are released before the funds, so that the funds are released, and then once the funds are released, then the oil uh, gets to leave. Your, your documentation is actually in total reverse. The first is the last, the middle should have been the second, and then the third, the first one, uh, the last one should have been uh, the first one. All the three documents. Uh -huh. can, can you explain, please? Zili tumwa na refinery wakati mafuta ilipotea. Na walituma ya kudhibitisha ya kwamba hiyo mafuta ni hao waliweka kwenye meri na hiyo mafuta ni ya Ants Import and Export Enterprise Limited. It, that's why walileta hizo baru ambiri. Kwa hizo diti tafauti. Where is your letter of guarantee that you are given to take to the bank? Um, letter we, of credit, sorry. Letter of credit. We do MT103 direct payment, not rate of credit. Are you able to facilitate the, the chair of this committee Nime, with listen Nime to my question? Madam, Nime order. Nime listen to my question. Yes. Listen to my question. I have not asked my question. Are you able to facilitate the, the chairman of this committee with your bank details where you paid those funds from? Please. Ndiyo. Aya. kama zile not for public. Not for public? Yes, And any time you talk about not for public, this is the parliament. We have considered ourselves as, we have considered ourselves as a court. That's why you saw you are talking and giving evidence under oath. So can you proceed to facilitate or give the chairman the, that, the bank details, please? Clerk and sergeant, can we be assisted to give the chair? All right, so, so, um, so that now we can make progress. You say that uh, you have been trading in oil. Can you just give us uh, the names of uh, the companies you have been supplying, at least five of them for the last five years, so that we'll follow up to verify. Because this is not the first input you're doing. Thank you. All right. So, Liangu ni mawili kwako. Nikienda kwa poto ya Ipra. Poto ya Ipra. Sioni jina la kampuni yako, ambayo imekuwe nafanya biashara ngaji umesema, yako nafanya kule Dubai. Lakini vile mwenye kitu yalianza kuuliza hapo awali ni kwamba e, masharti ya ma requirements za uh, kufanya biashara ya mafuta ya importation katika nchi yetu la lazima uwe na IPRA license na naona kampuni yako ni ya miaka kama kumi. na hata kuna mwaka mmekuwa na lenseni ya IPRA na nikiangalia katika e, kampuni Galana ambayo imeweka presentation yao katika page 6 chairman utaona yale kampuni ambaye mafuta ambaye Galana inasema ilileta ambaye inaupishi kutoka kwa madam Ann e, ukiangalia page 6 barua ya Minister of Energy and Petroleum State Department for Petroleum ambaye imeandikiwa CEO wa Galana utaona kampuni zote ambazo zilikuwa na share ya hiyo mafuta ambayo ililetwa Kwa hivyo, inoanakana... Buyer participation. Yes. 
na naona katika hizi kampuni sijaona kampuni ya AN ambayo ina IPRA license na pia ningetaka pia nimeona kwa lenseni ile ya county government wako nayo na sheria inasema ni lazima uwe na IPRA license so tungetaka pia kujua hiyo IPRA license ambayo nilimsikia kwa TV akisema ame apply katikati ya mwaka ama mwaka kenda kuisha sasa zile kampuni ambazo zinafanya mafuta zina apply sasa lenseni ya mwaka ujao kwa hiyo inaonekana kwamba hii hakuwa na lenseni na fai ku participate kuuza mafuta katika nchi yetu ya Kenya bila IPRA license kwa hivyo biashara yake e, katika e, ipoto ya IPRA haiko kabisa so ningetaka tu ajue hivyo haya so please the last one is just a comment to the team of Anijeri because i can see there is an advocate in this team i'm of the feeling that this committee uh, was not accorded by this team the respect it deserves and the reason why i'm saying this is why they decided to supply or to furnish this committee with the faint copies they are clear was it deliberate or from where did you generate this copies thank you all right something must come to an end yeah. the uh, you will just it's okay she will answer that and um, the location of the office where is it in dubai what is soko mm -hmm. uh the you you can uh, give us a list of the people who you have uh, been supplying oil with to yeah i can do that but uh, that also is a private and confidential according to the clients hakuna mtu anatakika na kujulikana nikitoa hiyo siri nje nitakuwa nime expose client kwa kuuza mafuta ndio okay sawa yeah it's true kuna contract na inasema hivyo kwamba wenye unauzia mafuta wasijulikane wanaweza kujulikana ile inaenda kwa nani sawa lakini kwani hii biashara ni fake tuna sign IMFPA <laughs> ya ICC uweze ku disclose more information to the public Oh, yeah. Honestly, Chair, I, I said, uh, and uh, Chair, um, we have always investigated a lot of clients. And for the record, I think this is a hostile client to me. Uh, I. I. Na nilikuwa ni na angalia news kuna shote ya mafuta Kenya na nikasema ni lete mafuta ibayo itaza kusaidia nchi ya Kenya ama nchi yangu na nijaribu kama soko itakuwa na kama kuna nileta kama CIF manake sikuwa ninajua mambo ya tendering na oh, hizo vitu vingine vyote kwa hivyo nilileta kama CIF ile ambayo ningeweza kuzia of takers as CIF na sasa kama umekuwa kwa 14 years kwa hii biashara ndio na kulingana na statement yako ambayo nimesikia ni kwamba ulisema ulikatazwa license na uliomba license ukiwa mafuta iko pale Mombasa uliwezaje kufanya hii biashara kwa miaka 14 bila license ya kwamba siku ninajua ya inahitajika nikuwe na license ya hiyo ya mafuta Nikona lakini umesema tayari umefanya hiyo biashara kwa miaka 14 ya niko na license ya general commodities which is ina include product zote lakini hii ya energy sikuelewa ya kwamba ilikuwa inahitajika na wakati niliambiwa inahitajika nilichukua jukumu ya kufanya application na nika apply kwa ipra ushaiuza mafuta yoyote Kenya sijai kuuza mafuta yoyote Kenya na hujawahi leta mafuta yoyote Kenya hapana e, kwa hivyo hujawahi hata kuwa na license ya ipra hapana na hii miaka 14 ulikuwa nauza mafuta wapi? Nilikuwa nauzia mafuta Dubai watu wa kitoka nchi ya East Africa ama West Africa ama South Africa. Kwa hivyo ninauzia hizo nchi zote nikiwa Dubai. So wakinunua mafuta kama wanaileta Kenya ama inaenda nchi nyingine sifuatiri. Aya, tuende mbele tusonge biombio because pia kuna members wengine nataka waulize maswali. Aya. So uh, 
tuseme sasa umeamua mafuta unaileta bila hiyo license na ningetaka tu kujua kwa nini kwa pesa mingi kama for ne, hii kiasi cha pesa ni, 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 ni mingi mno kwa nini ukaona sio vizuri kuweka pesa yako mingi hivyo kabla ya kufanya hata due diligence kidogo tu ya kujua hata process ya kuleta mafuta ni hii yani tu hiyo kidogo tu ya kujua kuleta mafuta Kenya hiyo ndio procedure na pesa mingi sana hii inahusika kwa nini huko na ni vizuri we, kujua requirements ya kuleta mafuta kabla uilete um, wakati nimeingia Kenya na mafuta ilikuwa nyuma yangu sikuelewa ya kwamba ni lazima ukue na hiyo license ndio uweze kuuza mafuta Kenya na nimesema hapo mbele ya kwamba wakati nilifahamu na nikaelezwa ninatakikana kuwa na license nichukua jukumu ya kufanya application with all the documentation zilikuwa zinatakikana okay. na kule Dubai unalikuwa nauza mafuta ulikuwa na license ya kuuza huko ndio niko na niko niko nayo kiasi kikubwa zaidi ushaiuza mafuta kule Dubai ukanunua ni mafuta kiasi gani mafuta huwa ninauza meli zangu zote huwa zinabeba 100,000 metric ton not Ayah. less than that uh, ninauza mafuta ya aina baribari si product moja hii mafuta ulilipia umesema ulilipia kupitia H something bank eh? HSBC wapi hiyo eh hiyo hiyo letter of credit yake na uelewe vizuri uelewe vizuri kwamba mimi mwenyewe na wengine wa kamati tutawea kwenda mpaka kule kwa hiyo bank kwa sababu kwa hii mafuta e, pia tumepewa bank ambayo imelipa na tumeconfirm authenticity ya document ya kulipia pia hiyo mafuta hiyo hiyo katika hiyo MT Agui kupitia kwa another bank KCB kupitia dada yetu anajibu inazidi kuleta Itapu. confusion nao amesema mafuta anatoa rasha then jeda jeda ni pot ile ya kupea so. mafuta inasafirishwa ni hiyo barua yenye umesoma ni pot of jeda sijui nini na mafuta imetoka rasha tumeongoja jina ya mwenye anamuzia atuoni haya mwisho kabisa wacha mimi nifunge ndio heshima wenzangu wakulize maswali wakati haya maneno yalitokea dada yetu ulisema confidently wewe umekuwa kwa hii biashara for 33 years then sisi wengine tumekuwa Kenya for karibu na miaka kama hiyo tunasema like tumekuwa tukisikia hata hii mafuta imefunguliwa juzi all energy kina nani 33 years atujajua earns imports na ina deal na pesa ya aina hiyo so sisi tukabaki tukishangaa leo tena umesema ulianza biashara 209 it is now less than 33 years again so ninaomba tu uweze kuwa consistent ile information unatupa ikuwe ni moja na yenye umekuwa ukisema ndio sisi tuweze kukusaidia kama ni kukusaidia um Ansi for the next spot is a um, is a group. Okay, so we have uh, evidence of that. It's all Ansi for the next spot. Hi, uh, uh, chair. Yes, chair. Uh, chair. Uh, Maybe Sim Swahili, so Swahili, I'm going to see.